I am 91 years of age and I've been practicing for 55 years. I was the first doctor who uh, treated female patients who had heroin addiction with methadone as a maintenance program at uh, a hospital in Manhattan. And uh, I also do internal medicine in my private practice in Harlem. It's wonderful when you see things such as women who are now able to get their children out of foster placement. I find it rewarding to see people making a new life for themselves. My grandfather was born uh, somewhere in the 1850s, and he was born a slave. He uh, was taken away from his mother at a very young age. When the emancipation was signed, he didn't know what that meant. He was told he could go back to his mother. He did, and she did not recognize him. He explained to her that he was her son, and they never parted. This man uh, had a lot of tragedy. My grandmother, his wife, died when I was a baby, and they had 10 children. Five of them had died as young adults or as children. He had four grandchildren, so all four of us grew up together in that house. We had to just admire his ability to just keep working and to do what he had to do to maintain the house. All four of his grandchildren did go on and do uh, get college education, get degrees. All of the great-grandchildren uh, went on to college. If he could discuss it, I'm sure he would, would have been really happy to see this. I was in college and I decided um, early on that I would like to do medicine. There were four women in a class of about 150 students. And it was very difficult for women to get accepted into medical school in one of the places that I did the training. That particular director of medicine would not take women. Now they are there. Women go into surgery. Women go into obstetrics and gynecology. Just name it. And at one time, this was limited. I've seen it from slavery to where I am now. I feel it's a necessity for a woman of color to be practicing with my people uh, because of the disparities in care that they sometimes face. Unfair advantage has been taken of people of color in treatment. I feel that I would like to continue practicing as long as I can and make a dent in the people that I see. You have to realize that you can accomplish anything that you care to. You can be uh, a physician, a scientist, an architect, an engineer, a teacher. You have to work hard and study hard. And you can do it. You can certainly do it. I think somebody will tell me it's time to give it up, but I'm not ready yet. <laughs>